We're gonna let a few people join the live feed here, uh, but we're gonna be talking about this new camera that I have here. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna wait for a few people here to join before we get started. Oh, there I see we got some other people joining here. So we're just gonna be getting started here. I just started the live feed. We're gonna be talking about a new action camera that came out and I paid for this action camera. I paid full price. Um, I did not get sponsored by this company. I have spent tons of my own money on action cameras. And so we're gonna talk a little bit about this new action camera I got and then one of my other action cameras that I have that I use a lot and why I think that GoPro is pretty much absolute trash, um, especially in comparison. Um, so what we're gonna be talking about is the new Ace Pro by Insta360. So you might notice it looks a little different. Here now it looks very similar to a GoPro, but you obviously have the screen. Now obviously that would not be enough alone just for me to buy it. Um, this would not be something that I would be like, gee, I have to have it over a GoPro. I'm looking for video quality. Now, what this thing delivers is the first 8K resolution. Uh, we'll turn it on here. It turns on really quick. It boots up really fast. Um, that to me is a perk um, because when I'm fishing, I wanna be able to quickly get the shot. That's important. Um, it does have pre-recording option in here where like it will record 15 seconds prior to you hitting the, the record button. So that's really important for people that are fishing or filming action uh, where they don't know when they're gonna wanna record. But that's still not the reason why I got this. The reason why I got this is this thing has the most amazing nighttime recording. The sensor's a little bit bigger. I'm not a guy that nerds out on all the sensor stuff. I don't, I just look at, does it work? Like, what does the end product look like out of the camera? That's what I'm looking at. You know, all these little numbers and different things, it could mean very little to me. I'm the everyday dad that likes to use the product. But what I can tell you is, I have used DJI, I've used GoPros, I've used a bunch of different cameras. I even have a professional DSLR, like a Sony DSLR mirrorless camera. This thing blows me away with what it's capable of. So it has a nice touch screen here. Um, right now we have it on 8K, 24 frames a second. You can kind of see it there. And you can actually just touch and it pops up the menu. The menu is very responsive. Like you can scroll and it makes little clicking sounds, a little vibration. It's just very, very good feedback there. I, I like that. Um, in 4K resolution, you can actually dial it up to 120 frames a second. So you can get really good slow-mo in 4K. In 2.7K, you get 120 frames a second. And in 1080p, you get 240 frames a second. But where it really stands out is the fact that you can actually film 8K resolution. So by oversampling and, and getting more resolution, um, you still might be edit, editing the footage on a 4K timeline. So when you're editing the footage, it might still be a 4K video that you're editing, but you're importing 8K and so that gives you a lot of editing uh, capabilities. You can crop in quite a bit and you still have 4K resolution. Um, so in terms of editing, a lot better um, editing workflow when you have that ability to overshoot and take more information in. Um, but that's still not the reason why I got this camera. I'm trying to think, how can I make filming easier for me? I already hired a video editor for this channel, by the way. Um, so that's that was a huge step. Thank you guys for sticking with the channel and supporting us and our family. Um, by the way, our family is also growing. We're adopting. 
Um, so that's another huge thing. Um, and when the hurricane wiped out our house, you guys were there, you helped us. So big thanks to you guys. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I wanted to jump right into that. But the reason why this camera also got my attention is it has gesture, uh, like gesture controls. So it not only has voice control, but it has gesture controls. So a lot of times voice controls, they work okay. They sometimes work, they sometimes don't. Like I can try this one right now. Start recording. There, it's working. Stop recording. Start recording. Stop recording. So that, that worked pretty quick. That's the voice controls. Um, but the other one is, I'm gonna flip the screen this way so you can see when it starts recording and you can see me. If I put my hand up and I hold it, let's see, what's it saying? Uh, let's see. I gotta make sure it's turned on actually, my bad. So it has gesture control, which is pretty cool. So if I put my hand up, it starts recording and you'll see it's tracking my face. So like I can go like this and you can see at what point, see it detects a face right there. So the facial autofocus is pretty quick. <clears throat> so that's another reason why I like this. So I can just stick my hand out and it stops recording. It works very well. That's the one thing about Insta360. They don't seem to put out this crap. Like GoPro has frustrated the hell out of me. I've had several GoPros. They've had card issues, like where they were like not writing to card or corrupting cards. I don't know what was happening, but I was buying quality cards. They also overheated. They just, it, it frustrated me. Now, I have some friends that still have GoPros, um, but Insta360 has just worked for me. And this isn't my only Insta360 camera. I have their, Insta360 grew because they were the first to start creating 360 like VR type cameras where it films everything. This is really, I would say their first serious action camera to compete with traditional GoPros. I have used the X3 Insta360 camera, which is not this camera, it's a different one. Um, it's actually in my boat right now. Um, the Insta360 X3, it's awesome. Like you put it on a selfie stick and you can like mount it to your kayak or to your boat or whatever. And it gets you like a drone like shot and it sees everything. So if a fish busts up and you, you, you hook up to a fish and it's ahead of you, it catches that. If the fish is behind you, it catches that. The Insta360 X3 camera is one of my favorite cameras ever. Um, but then I saw this and I was like, this delivers that little bit of extra quality that I wanted because 360 cameras, they might be like 5.7 K resolution, but it's a sphere of video. And so you're not getting the full 5.7 K because you're reframing the shot later. It's hard to understand if you've never used a 360 camera, but the X3, um, it, and that gesture control is just super cool. I love it. Um, but the magnetic attachment, super quick, way quicker than using a GoPro, you know, having to take, it still works with GoPro mounts, but GoPro, you're pretty much dependent on having to unscrew, unscrew, you know, it takes a long time. So if you had like a hat mount and you had like a mount on a pole for your, your kayak or your boat, or you had a chest mount you're gonna be able to just switch between mounts really quick with the same camera. So to me, that's huge. Um, so start recording. Voice and gesture control works so well. Stop recording. Like this is a true camera that I'm gonna use. Like 
I saw the features and I was like, eh, maybe it's gonna work, maybe it's not gonna work. I don't know. I get it. And like in the first five to 10 <laughs> minutes of using it, I was just like, oh my goodness, this thing's amazing. I see Blake is on, Blake Hurst. Oh my goodness, how you doing, bud? So the other cool thing, um, so there's actually different um, lenses, like you got, you said, well, not lenses. I mean, I don't know how to screw. Right here on the side, you have the spot where your SD card goes, and then you got a spot where the USB-C can connect into. Um, but you can also get a mic adapter that plugs into the side here, or it does work with Bluetooth microphones like the DJI. Um, so a lot of people have the DJI microphones, this works with those as well. Um, let's see what other features we can find. Who knows? I'll probably find more features that I didn't even know existed. Oh, um, oh, this feature is super cool. So you can start recording. Okay, so it's going to start recording here. But look at this. This is another cool feature you can do. You can pause recording. And then you can actually change settings if you wanted to. So like you could, whatever you wanted to do, you could zoom in, zoom out. Um, you can, um, yeah, you could change like the, the wideness of the lens, but you're still, you're paused. Then you can resume recording. So right there, we're resuming recording again and it's still recording to the same file. So like if you're a vlogger and you wanna film several little sequences, you don't have to stop the recording to that file. You could just pause the recording, do your next scene, resume recording or whatever, and then pause again, you know, and, and set up your next scene. So like you can record to the same file. So it's almost like you're editing within the camera. To me, that's huge. Yeah, Evan's gone fishing, it's a sweet feature. Like for me vlogging, like I can think in steps like, okay, I need to film myself opening the car door. I need to film myself, you know, turning the key, packing up the, the fishing rods. I could just literally have this like on a, a chesty mount or whatever, or actually this is one of the mounts I use a lot like lately. It's a, just a neck mount. So, it sits right here, um, super easy to put on, take off. Um, picked it up, I think, on like Timu or something, like for a buck. Um, but the pause and resume feature on here is another huge feature. Like it's still paused right now. And if we wanna end that, we just hit right there. Uh, it's hard doing, there you go. And so now it's writing that file. And I mean, it's quick. This thing is super responsive. Um, let's see. Oh, in terms of the AI, I guess this thing like will find highlights for you and automatically help you like create edits in the in the app. Um, if I, I wonder if I got the app open on here. Yeah, so I got Insta360 app up here. And we're going to see here if we can connect up to it. I normally, I'm filming with one of my other phones. So, okay, so right here is the app. We're gonna end up clicking the little yellow dot because we already have, we're already logged in and stuff. Um, okay, it's looking for my X3 right now, but it says, it shows the, the Ace Pro there in the bottom. So we're gonna click that one. And now it's connecting up to here. Oh, I just heard it click. And confirm connection. Oh, so I, it says first connection has to be confirmed on the device. So I'm confirming on, on here. Okay, so now it's saying, do you wanna join? I'm gonna click join on here. It's super easy. Like this app and the, and, and the, the Insta360 cameras like never glitch on me. Like they just work. Okay, so now it appears to be connected. Yep, so now right here, you can see, tilt down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up. 
very low leg. I mean, there's like almost no leg. Um, I can edit a bunch of like the settings on here. Um, there's just a whole bunch of different things. It's just really cool. Um, the, the setting that you wanna be on though for like doing your nighttime videos is you wanna do pure video. So pure video mode is like legit. I think it, if I remember right, it uses AI to help reduce noise. And I filmed last night in like pitch black. I went out to the dock. We had some fish lights and it was impressive. Like this thing saw more than what my eyes were seeing in the dark. Um, and there wasn't a lot of noise. I uploaded some sample videos um, to our Kayak DIY Facebook. And so I have some sample videos of what night video looked like. And I'm, remember, this is pitch black. This is not like a city street where there's some more lighting. There was a very minimal lighting in that area. And it still was looking pretty dang good. Um, so the night video recording on this is very good. Um, but yeah, here's the app. Um, you can, let's see, you can do a whole bunch of different things. Like you can turn GPS on and I think it will use the GPS from the phone and write to the card, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how that works, but you also can get a GPS remote for this. Um, so like if you're you know on boats or different things and you wanna overlay your speed and all that, you can. Um, let's see. Um, so yeah, right here, um, you can actually go into the album and in album, you can then, uh, preview a lot of the footage that's on your camera. Um, I'm going to set this down here. So like last night, I think, um, I don't know, I got some recording. I didn't get them all transferred over, but, uh, I got a bunch of different ones transferred. I also have some transferred over from uh, my X3 camera. And the X3 camera is also really cool, which I mentioned earlier. Um, so right here, it looks like nighttime video. It's really hard to see, but it's on our Facebook. And you can kind of see that I'm walking out to the dock. There's tiki torches, but it's very minimal lighting. You can see the boat that has green reflecting off the boat from the lights down in the water. But the amount of detail is, is really good for an action camera. Um, you're not gonna be able to see it very well in here, but just trust me on that. Uh, let's see. And like I said, I paid full price for this camera. This is not sponsored. Insta360 did not ask me to make a video. I own both their X3 and the Ace Pro. I paid for them, unlike other YouTubers who you might see that are you know saying buy this camera buy this camera this camera's great and they had the camera given to them by insta360 that's not me i paid for it and i'm telling you this thing is freaking sweet <laughs> it's a little bit more money than the gopro but to me you're like future proofing because this is like it, it for one shoots almost twice the resolution um Let's see, you asked what the price range is on this. I think it's like 449 for this camera. You know, and GoPros tend to be roughly close to 400 bucks sometimes. So, I mean, not that big of difference in my opinion. This has way more usable features. Um, and it just, it works better. Like having the gesture on here is gonna make my life so much easier because I can mount this on the front of the kayak or the front of the boat and I can just hold up my hand and it's gonna end up recording. Um, you know, see, it actually saw, the camera saw the iPhone screen, the live recording, and it's actually, it activated from my hand, watch. Let's see, let's see. It like picked up the hand, it, it was pretty quick. Stop recording. <laughs> that's, that's so cool. Oh, I just noticed something else too um, that I didn't mention. So if you film vertical video, you can simply rotate 
and see how all the everything rotated it automatically rotates so if you're going to film vertical content for like TikTok or YouTube shorts, you can just rotate it. Or what you can do that I would do is I would just film in the higher resolution and I would keep stuff centered. And then I just crop in on the video. Um, that's usually how I do this um, when I'm filming for both long form content and short form content is I just use the higher resolution, get the wider uh, angle and then I just crop in to be able to get my vertical content for my TikToks and short stuff. Um, the flip screen is, is cool. And I didn't know it until I got it, but it actually does lock. Like, so it doesn't flip up without you pressing these tiny little buttons here. And they lock into those little indentations. And it, it's not flimsy, like it, it's legit, like, like you can see here that it's not flipping down. Like it's, it, it stays put where you want it. Which is kind of cool because if you're like filming on a chesty, you could like preview your footage or, you know, if you're like here, you know, you can see everything. So that's really cool. Um, let's see, we were gonna go in the settings here. so. In the settings here, which mind you, everything's laid out really nice. Like the user interface is so nice. Um, you got this little rocket ship. When you click it, it's called Quick Capture. So um, you got or rotation lock. So that prevents the screen from rotating if you tilt. Um, you got gestures and then you got voice. And it's cool because inside here, it gives you like a mini little tutorial how to. So when you click it, it explains to you how to use it. So if you're not familiar with action cameras and things, it, it kind of dumbs it down for you. Um, depending on your resolution that you have set at the time, you got pre-recording and you got AI highlights where it'll use the AI chip in here to detect what are the best clips that you have. Um, you can change your screen brightness, which is great because then, you know, in bright light, you can turn it up so you can see it better. And in low light, you can turn it down and conserve battery life. And it, it's a very responsive screen. Like, that's one thing I really like because the GoPros that I've used, their screen seemed to have lag and it was kind of choppy. It didn't flow and it wasn't very smooth. Um, this is very smooth. Um, so that's one other thing I like on it. Um, let's see, going off to the side, you got auto and manual for like your exposures and your white balance. So, you know, that's nice. You can dial it in it. it, it you basically have like either the most simple camera to use that you want, or you can go into like more manual settings and you can end up using it more like a professional camera and dial in the white balance and all that stuff. But it kind of just works really well in the auto modes. Um, so that's really nice. Um, if you scroll the other way, you know, that would bring in your previews for footage, but because I'm connected up to the app, then it won't do that. So um, let's see. I'm um, looking here, see if there's any other cool things I can show you. Oh, um, inside the app, there's like AI editing. Um, it'll take your footage and it will like find your best clips and it'll make your videos kind of for you, um, especially short videos. Um, also, there's some weird, like there's some weird setting on here where like I saw it on their website and it will like overlay on like buildings and different things like this AI Tron looking cartoon something. I don't know, it was a weird effect, but like there's some cool effects I guess that you can do with this while filming, which like somewhat cartoonize, like cartoonize your video and give it like this AI look or something. I don't know. This thing does so much, I can't even possibly explain it to you in this live stream.
but I just wanted the opportunity to be able to connect with you guys, read some of your comments, and see if there was anything that you guys wanted to know about this, because I'm gonna be keep using this for probably years, because quite frankly, it seems years ahead of GoPro, because GoPro is just plain not, they're not evolving fast enough. Um, <laughs> and so this seems to be quite a ways ahead. Um, it shoots twice the resolution of my, my TV. Um, so I don't envision getting rid of this anytime soon. So I will try to learn more about it and end up explaining it to you um, as I figure out how I best use it. Uh, but the way I think I'm going to use it um, here pretty soon is I have a Hobie kayak actually outside that I've been rigging up with motors and um, I'm going to end up mounting this on there and I'll use the gesture controls to activate the, the camera so that it records. By chance, does it have night vision? So South Jersey yak fishing, it doesn't have night vision, but what it does have is what's called pure video, which the sensor in this is pretty, pretty large. It's, it's larger than the GoPros. And it uses AI plus that larger sensor to produce very low noise, low artifact, all that stuff, killer video. Like it, for an action camera, this is to me as good as it gets. Like you're not gonna find anything that competes against this in an action camera, you're just not. DJI is probably your next best, closest competitor, um, the DJI Action 4 specifically, um, because they use a similar sensor, but the AI in here, I was shocked last night filming at night. I mean, it was minimal if any artifact or, or distortion or, or noise. It just looked beautiful. It looked really good. Um, so it doesn't have the green like night vision looking stuff, but it does have what's called pure video and it's specifically designed for shooting in low light situations. So if you have even the most minimal light, um, like if you're in, in a town and there might be occasional little lights from storefronts and different things, but it's dark out, it's gonna look crisp. Like it's gonna look really good. Um, and even possibly if you had minimal lighting and you were like shark fishing on the beach, it's gonna look good. I mean, I filmed in pitch black almost and it was still grabbing detail that I didn't think it would grab. It was grabbing detail that my eyes weren't really even seeing. Um, so uh, hopefully that answers your question. Um, but you can find the link in the description. That is the one way you can help me because um, this was not sponsored, I bought it. Um, I bought it because I plan to use it. I don't own a GoPro. I've been using iPhones. I'm right now we're on a, a live stream from an iPhone and I have my other iPhone that I fished out of the, the lake at iCast. Um, so I got two iPhones and that's typically what I was filming with, but it was hard to film underwater when I was catching like those sharks a few weeks ago. Um, so that's where this comes in is I can be wearing this, get really good video, but when I need to, I can pop it off and put it underwater to get those cool underwater shots. Um, so uh, yeah, if you use my link, it helps out the channel. It lets me be able to buy stuff to actually give non-biased reviews on. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm trying at this point not to be the guy anymore on YouTube where I take in product in exchange for reviews. I'm trying to be the guy that just buys the product or coordinates something. Like I see a friend that has that kayak and I go use it or I see someone that has that gear and I go use it. Cause I don't want any, I'm trying to eliminate bias out of this channel. Um, even though I don't feel like I am biased, like I'll tell you like it is. If I think the product sucks, I'm gonna tell the company it sucks and I'm gonna tell you that it sucks. <laughs> um, so, this does not suck. This is freaking the coolest camera ever. Now they do make just the Ace and then they make the Ace Pro. This is the Ace Pro, so it shoots 8K resolution. The Ace shoots 6K resolution. And I think there's a few different specs um, that the Ace doesn't have over the Ace Pro. Um, to me, just, 
I would go with the Ace Pro personally if it's if that small amount of money doesn't really make a difference to you. Get the Ace Pro because I can tell you this camera is awesome. I don't know about the Ace, um, but the Ace Pro is killer. Um, it's it's feels solid. It, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, you know the mounting, everything about it is just is excellent. So. There you can hear that click. And so this mount came with uh, the package. So in case you guys are wondering. So it appeared to go into sleep mode where it turned the screen off on the back. I'm, I'm learning more and more about this as I go, but start recording. Stop recording. <laughs> this works really well. Um, I've owned other ones that have the voice, you know, commands that had the gesture controls. You know, actually the gesture controls I only had on drones. I never had that on an action camera, <clears throat> but this just is working really well. We're gonna do that gesture control again because to me that's really cool. So. Here you can see me, it's filming me, or it's not filming yet, it's not recording, but I'm gonna hold my hand up. There it starts recording. La da 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 da. <laughs> Crazy. Um, oh, what else was I gonna try? I was gonna try something else, I can't remember what it was. Oh, I also like that it has this light here, this bar, so that when it's Start recording. So you can see here, it's very, like you can definitely tell that it's on. That's what I like also. So like when it's mounted up on the front of my kayak, I don't have to guess and be like, oh gosh, is it is it on? I can't tell. No, you know it's on, you know it's recording. So that's cool. And it stops. Hey, we should try the photo. So photo mode, you just do the, you do this. So we're gonna try that. Oh, it's a timer. <laughs> cool. That's cool, I like that. It actually gave you a countdown. It gave me a countdown on the front. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, this, this camera just works. Like, it, it works well, um, you know, and it hasn't overheated on me yet. Um, you know, I expect that if I was shooting 8K resolution that maybe it would do it if I was outside in the Florida heat. But, uh, you know, if this thing's meant to shoot 8K resolution and I filmed in 4K most of the time, I imagine it probably won't overheat that quick. That's my thought because it has the capability to do an 8K. You think that it has a big enough heat sink and all that stuff that if I'm shooting in 4K or even lesser, like 2.7, it likelihood is it probably isn't gonna end up overheating very quick. Um, so that was another thing I kind of thought about because some of the GoPros out in the Florida heat recording at 5.7K or some of those you know, 4K higher frame rates they seem to have an issue sometimes with uh, overheating. So this being the Ace Pro and recording for, or recording 8K resolution or having that capability made me more confident that I wasn't likely gonna experience a lot of uh, overheating issues. And so far, it has not overheated. It has not given me any temperature uh, warnings or thermal overload or anything like that. So. Um, that's pretty cool. And to touch, I mean, it's mildly warm, but not even remotely what I would consider hot. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, this is, you know, granted we haven't been recording with this 24 seven, but, uh, when I've had it outside, um, and I've recorded, uh, it hasn't given me issues yet. Does anyone have any questions? There's some up close. Let me 
can see in the little microphone there. I think if you tap this or something, it does highlights too. It'll like highlight an area. Oh, the, the photo mode. It's capable of 48 megapixels for photos. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And while you're recording too, you can tap on the screen and temporarily zoom in. It is waterproof to 33 feet without the dive housing. Um, so without the dive housing, yes, it is waterproof. So like if I'm kayaking or so and it falls overboard, as long as it's not deeper than 33 feet, I'm probably okay. Um, so yeah, it it's basically in that regard, it's a similar rating to the GoPro. The GoPro is pretty much 33 feet. This is 33 feet. And then beyond 33 feet, you put it in a dive housing. Um, I will say DJI Action 4 beats this camera in waterproof. Um, I think the DJI can go to close to 60 feet maybe without a dive housing, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I know it's more than this one or the GoPro, but the DJI doesn't have anything else that compares to this. Like the features on this are, are nuts. And I'm not gonna be going beyond 33 feet very often unless I'm diving, in which case I would always use a dive housing when diving, no matter what even if I thought I was only gonna be at 30 some feet because it's very easy sometimes to accidentally go deeper um, if you're not watching your, your depth gauge and everything. Um, so I would say that, you know, oh, the price comparison. So price comparison, um, I think the GoPro Hero 12 is normally 399, I think is the normal MSRP. Um, it might be on sale right now because GoPro, I think, is realizing that there's a lot of competition that's really hurting them. Like the DJI Action 4 is better than the GoPro. This is better than the DJI and the GoPro. Um, so uh, GoPro is running at, I believe, 370 maybe. Yep, 379 to like 399, I think, is kind of the, the price point. Um, this is around 449, I believe. Um, maybe, maybe it's, it's less and it's on sale, but you can find the link in our description for this video. So on this live feed, if you go to the description area, you can find the link. Um, that is the only incentive that could be considered to make me biased, but I, I purchased this full price and I can prove it to you. The, the receipt is actually posted on my Facebook. So on Kayak DIY Facebook, you can see that I purchased this camera. Um, but if you do purchase with our link, then it helps fund the channel a little bit, um, which I'll probably use to buy some accessories for this. I don't know. Um, that or I'll use it to pay my video editor because we got a video editor now. Woo! <laughs> we uh, finally hired a full-time video editor for the channel. So, um, you know, thanks for sticking with me since 2013. Uh, I, many of you guys uh, have been there since just about the beginning of the channel. Um, so, uh, yeah, it helps out, you know, our family and stuff. Um, the wife and I are actually adopting. That's uh, something new that we're doing. Um, we also had a rough past year. Um, the past year, our house flooded from the Hurricane Ian. Um, so, this, this is how we pay for things is, is the channel. So if you use the link in the description, it does give us a small commission. I think it's like 5% commission or something, which really that's not that small in my opinion. That's great. That's awesome. It helps us out a lot. Um, so I just want to make sure you know that that way um, you guys have the full picture um, of everything. So, but Insta360 did not sponsor me. Doug Pike, standalone is 379, okay. Um, I don't know if you were here earlier either to know this, but the, so I like, I got the, the battery pack with this. Um, 
these batteries are fast charging batteries, which GoPro doesn't have. And DJI is also making fast charge batteries. So first of all, don't get a GoPro, get the DJI Action 4 or get this. I would say GoPro, go kick rocks. Like you just, I found it insulting when they came out with the Hero 12. It was like basically a rebadged 11. Like it, it, it maybe had a little bit of software upgrades, but it was nothing. Uh, the batteries that this thing uses, for one, it seems to have better battery life, like quite a bit better battery life than any GoPro I've, I've ran. Um, but the cool thing is these batteries charge to like 80% in like 18, 20 minutes or something. It's like ridiculous. So, you know, I can have this in my truck or I can even have a USB pack or something, you know, and just quickly charge up these batteries. So I, I really only need to have two batteries likely. Um, and I'm, I'm good because the recharge time is so fast that I can charge the battery that I'm not using in the amount of time that I would for sure, you know, like the battery life on here is going to be pretty decent. While this battery might be drained, I can charge it. And then by the time this one's dead, I have another charge battery. Like the fast charging is a huge perk. Um, so it only comes with one battery um, when you end up uh, doing your initial purchase. So if you're buying just the bare camera kit, it's just one battery. But you can get like the extra battery kit, which is what I got. And it has this three charger, which I thought it was kind of weird that they didn't give you two batteries so that you would have a total of three batteries, but whatever. I'm willing to overlook it because this camera is so dang cool. But, <laughs> but, this is a fast charger and it came with one battery. And that was part of the, the battery kit that they had online. Um, I'd have to, I'm not sure. It, it, there's so many variables, uh, Frank, uh, Frank OB, um, Frank. Um, so depending on what resolution you're filming in, all the settings that you have turned on or off, there's so many different variables. But what I can tell you is, if you need an action camera, this outperforms for sure GoPro, and it's probably gonna be very comparable to the DJI for battery life, is what I'm finding. Um, so I'm, I'm doing mixed use. I'm using some 8K resolution, some 4K resolution. I'm kind of playing around with it. Um, but I've been very happy with the battery life. Um, the specs on this battery is 1650 milliamp hours. Nominal energy, 6.35 watt hours. Nominal voltage, 3.85 volts. Um, but um, it's, it's I, I can't give you an exact runtime for recording because for one, I just haven't owned it long enough to really give you clear specs of real world usage. But I already, having used many GoPros and DJI and other cameras, I feel like I'm using, oh, so I just realized Frank OB is actually one of my really good friends. <laughs> I didn't know what his, what his YouTube handle was. Hey, Frank. <laughs> hey, Kelly. <laughs> um, so yeah, the batteries, uh, basically they, uh, they perform much better than GoPro for sure, and probably very similar to the DJI Action series. Um, and and you know the Insta360 X3. So this is the Ace Pro. The X3 is their 360 camera, which has a lens on each side, and it films everything around you. That camera also has really good battery life. Uh, I feel like the Insta360 cameras in general something maybe about their software or something it just seems like it's very low power like it, it, it it's not a power hog it reminds me of apple versus windows like i felt like windows requires a lot of power to run those operating systems and like apple you can have like eight gigabytes of ram and, and it's blazing fast still i don't know 
that's just me nerding out in the only way I know how. But the, the Insta360 just seems to use up battery less. Um, and that's not just this camera, it's the other 360 cameras by this company that I own. Yeah, definitely, Frank, do not get a GoPro. Like, just don't. Like, try out mine. Like, you can play around with it, come over to the house, use it. This is way, way better. <clears throat> and you like to do vlogging stuff, Frank. Like, so having the flip up, you know, like if you guys go to Disney or do anything with your family, like this is gonna be a lot nicer. And you can connect up Bluetooth mics to it. So like you can eventually, if you wanted to, you could um, upgrade the audio by getting the DJI um, wireless mics, which you see a lot of, you know, YouTubers and influencers wearing. And it connects right up wirelessly to this. So you can get super clean audio, even in noisy, windy environments and there's no cables that are gonna be connected into here. So to me, that also makes this the best action camera. Frank, we're actually gonna see each other pretty soon, right? For like uh, early Christmas, I'm hoping, yeah. If you guys want to come over earlier too, you can. We can always hang out, take out some of the boats. It is this weekend. Okay, that's what I thought. Sweet. Well, Thank you for all of you guys that have hung out with me for you know roughly 50 minutes or so. Um, but check this out, I'll have it linked below. I'll also try to put it in the comments area. Um, if you use our link, um, we have links to Amazon or to Insta360. Either one of those links will help uh, you know basically fund the channel. Um, but Insta360 did not pay us to do this. They did not give us the camera, we paid full price. So. I believe I'm non-biased, um, unlike many of the other reviewers. I, I just, I'm very happy with this camera and uh, I'm just excited to be able to use it more. Start recording. Stop recording. Start recording. Stop recording. It just works. This thing just works. And, and so I'm super excited. I mean, I'm not editing this video. This video is live. So if it screws up, you're gonna see it. So that makes it less, you know, less biased than many of the other channels. So that's why I wanted to do this live to show you some of the features because you guys will know I'm not just blowing smoke up your you know what. <laughs> it works because it's live and if it's going to screw up it's going to screw up in front of you and, and so far it hasn't screwed up there's no glitching it just it's a cool little camera so um anyway uh in terms of other news for the channel and things that we're doing so i am now a co-owner in autoboat um that's huge um i figured i'd share that with you guys um i you know discovered Autoboat, you know, about a year ago, played around with it, really liked it. And, um, you know, it's based out of Brazil, Autoboat is. The, the product is an adapter system that clamps on the basic trolling motors and gives it remote controls and GPS. You can even run uh, the, the motor from your phone. So like, this is the Autoboat app. Um, so that is something new, um, being essentially an owner, um, a co-owner that's, that's huge. Um, that's a huge blessing to our family. Um, but it's also exciting. Like I've held off. I have not wanted to, I, I just wanted to make videos. Like 
I didn't want to be a business person really like, but then I saw this product and I got super excited and I could see the future and I saw how it implemented so well into kayaks. And so it was like, no, no, no this, is, this is the product I want to be involved in. And so I jumped on it and uh, you'll be seeing more of that product and we're going to help evolve it. Um, through the app and different things to try to give you even more features. Some of the new features coming to the app are going to be awesome. Like there's features in Autoboat that the other GPS companies, the other GPS motor companies don't have. Um, so um, if you do decide to purchase an Autoboat, um, you can get it at tvnation.net. Um, you can use the discount code, um, since you're my viewers, obviously I'd like to give you a discount. You can use the discount code kayak DIY. Um, and you don't have to either. I mean, it's just to benefit you. I don't care, um, if you use it or not, the, the promo code. Um, I don't need any, any money out of it. Um, so. Um, let's see what else oh, I mentioned that our family's adopting. So that's huge. Um, my daughter's four years old. She's going to be five and we are looking to add to our family. Um, she wants to have a brother or a sister. And so, um, I can tell you right away that the adoption process has been amazing. So if any of you guys are watching, I highly encourage you to just hear me out. Okay. Um, because this is a misconception that I had. I had the misconception that adoption was super expensive and that it wasn't something that we, our family could afford. And, you know, we were struggling to, to, to get pregnant, to have a, a baby. Um, but we got Sailor. Um, Sailor, my daughter, major blessing. But we couldn't have any more kids, long story short. Adopting from the state foster system costs almost nothing. And there is a ton of support out there from the state, regardless of your income, to help you take care of that child as well. Um, so every single state across the U.S. has what's called heart galleries. Um, so you can actually see some of the profiles of the kids up for adoption. Um, if this is anything that you guys are even remotely considering or you've thought about, take a look at it. Um, it's, it's, some of it's a hard to see. Um, a lot of these kids, you know, um, have gone through a lot, um, but they train you. Um, so like we ended up, uh, we ended up choosing to pay, um, a few thousand dollars, like $5,000, which is a lot for us, you know, still, but we chose to pay $5,000 to hire an agency to work with the state, which the state doesn't charge anything for adopting really from the um, state foster system. But we hired a company to help work with the state to help facilitate that and make it easier. And that costs 5,000. And they train you on, you know, some of the things you might see in adopting a child. Um, but it's, it's just, it's, it's been an amazing process. That's what I want to tell you because so many people will say the adoptions and the foster and, you know, all these orphans, it's, it's terrible. And you know, the, you, okay, maybe some of you went through that and you had some bad experiences, but I'm telling you from my perspective, the process has been amazing and the state really does want to get these kids placed into good homes and they make it about as easy as it possibly could be. Um, and so I, I know we jumped from a action camera, you know, video to this, but I just wanted to get that out there because there might be someone that's watching that has gone through what we've gone through and not been able to have, you know, additional kids and you want to expand your family, consider it. Um, and you can message me on Instagram, kayak DIY. I'll tell you anything more that I can. Um, if you have any questions about it, we'll, we'll gladly try to explain things. There's also programs too, where if you have travel expenses to get to the kid, like let's say you're adopting a kid from out of state, um, there's programs that will help cover some of those costs for you. Um, we're not taking advantage of them because, um, we've been pretty blessed, you know, um, and 
So we're not taking advantage of that, but that's an option for you. Um, there's a bunch of different things. Even the state will sometimes kick in like up to a thousand bucks. Like Florida will kick out up to a thousand dollars to help with your travel expenses towards adopting a kid. Um, so there's just, it, it is very feasible if you want it. Like if you want to expand your family, it's, it's doable. Um, so I'll just leave you at that. Um, also upcoming videos. Um, so we hired a full-time video editor. Um, so I'm hoping to be able to kick out more videos to you. I'm just trying to brainstorm what is of value to you that I can show you. Um, so I right now have a solo skiff that's fiberglass. I have the green boat, which is the light skiff. And then I have a Hobie Pro Angler that I picked up from Miami um, that's decked out with EVA decking and all sorts of stuff. Um, and I'm putting some motor mounts on that. And then I'm gonna try to do a mid-haul mounted GPS motor on the Hobie. I'm still working on that. I'm trying to get a hold of Yak Gadget. So um, John Thomas, if, yeah, JT, if you're watching this, get in contact with me. Um, Cause Yak Gadget is like, they're the guys for rapid prototyping and building really cool stuff. And so, I want to see if we can make a easy kit for people to add a motor into a bunch of these different kayaks and be able to put this GPS motor um, on them. Uh, because right now, for the most part, you got the Old Town uh, autopilot system, which is like a $5,000 kayak. That's just not doable for a lot of people. And so, we want to try to bring the technology to the masses. We want to be able to allow people to, you know, put this auto boat system in like their pod of their kayak or on the bow or on the stern. We want to be able to give them a bunch of options. And so that's what I will be working on. Um, I'll be working on some of that. And then I'm going to try to do some catch and cook videos. Um, also, uh, Patrick, is a owner of Falcon Sales. He makes kayak sales and they're really cool. Um, so I have actually one of the kayaks that I purchased that has a Falcon sale on it. I paid for it. Um, I did not get it sponsored, um, but I talked to Patrick and he might be flying down or coming down. We might rig up another kayak together for a video and then do an adventure where we sail kayaks and possibly go camp out on an island. So, um, that's another um, possible upcoming video that we'll be doing. So just stay tuned. And if you guys want to connect with me, I am very connectable. I love my viewers. If you want to connect with me, I would say the best way is probably to go on my Instagram, follow me there and message me through Instagram. Because for some reason, that's where I check out a lot of the private messages or DMs. So, um, yeah, if you want to get a hold of me, if you have some specific question about something I talked about today or an idea or anything, message me on Instagram because uh, I'd love to hear from you. Or you can comment below and I will definitely connect with you as well. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go and hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you are shopping for the holiday season, for an action camera, do not buy a GoPro. I'm okay if you buy a DJI Action 4 because it's it's an okay camera, but this is the camera to get right here. It's the Action, or it's the Insta360, Insta360 Ace Pro. This is the camera to get. If you get a DJI Action 4, it's gonna be an okay camera. GoPro is crap for the money. In terms of the options, don't even bother. Like this is the one to get. And the next second best would be a DJI Action 4 in my opinion. Tackle fishing adventures, never tried them. <clears throat> well, if any of you guys want to follow up in conversation, you can do so below the video. I'm going to try to save this video to the channel. Um, and who knows, maybe we can follow up conversations there, but I'm going to end up, uh, cutting out the video. Oh no, I know, I know it's you, Nicholas. 
Yeah, Nicholas, if you need a camera, right here. I paid for it. It's not sponsored. It's not one of those weird YouTube sponsorships where it's like, hey, I just get in the mail from the company and they give it to me for free and then I'm like, hey, buy this. No, it's not that. I actually, I really like this and I bought it. I paid full price. So, um, anyway, um, yeah, Nicholas, I probably need to pay you a visit too and come over there and fish with you. You can probably teach me a little bit more about fishing because I'm not necessarily the best fisherman. Like I have a channel, you know, that kind of surrounds it, but there's definitely people that can outfish me and Nicholas is one of them. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I gotta go and we'll follow up this conversation in the comments or you can contact me on Instagram. Signing out.